Stephen, homeowners in one Missouri community can expect to see 11 year old Nicholas outside their door a week from today. Instead of filling his Halloween bucket with candy, instead he's asking for canned goods. Because I wanted to uh, save children. Like most 11 year olds, Nicholas Blair can't wet, wait for uh, Halloween to arrive. So He'll so wear fast, this homemade uh, costume. So I just wanted to act like Sonic the Hedgehog so I so I could give them the speed of joy. Trick or treating will be different this year. I made 10 drawings. I, I tried like a ghost with canned good, a vampire that struck a tomato soup. Instead of candy, the sixth grader plans to go door to door in Greenwood, Missouri for canned goods. I wanted to make those people feel better and feel more like, hey, we're special. We, Nicholas says we it that. hurt knowing people go without food. We have mac and cheese, cinnamon toast crunch, ramen noodles. So he's asking the community to help him help others. That are non-perishable. His goal is like his heart, big. Chicken noodle soup, tomato soup. Like. I would do a thousand if I could try, or even like one million. Pork and beans, pork and beans again. When he came up with this idea, it did. It just touched our hearts and we wanted to make sure it happened. And more green bees. On Halloween, uh, Sonic's sole mission is a trick or treat for hunger. So what inspired young Nicholas? He tells me his faith. Now, if you do want to give him candy, he won't decline it. But all donations will be going to the Hands and Feet of Jesus group in uh, the Kansas City area, which then helps the homeless get something warm to eat. Stephen. All right, a can of food and maybe a Reese's Pieces as well. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I'd Way to say go, so. Nicholas. Way to go. Well, if you'd like to help, Nicholas and his mom will be outside the Kmart off 24 Highway in Independence on Sunday at 6, and then they'll be in Blue Springs Monday at 5.30 at the Hobby Lobby off 7 Highway.